Hello, hello. Is everyone there? Oh, you might want to turn this down. Hello, hello. Everyone here? We all having a good Friday? <clears throat> Some reason my voice has decided to stay deep today. I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> you know, we're going to kill with it. We're going to keep it. Oh, ha, <laughs> there I am. Hello, hello. If you don't know my name, hi, my name is Hazel. If you're new here, welcome to the stream. Uh, today, we're gonna to be playing some Hive Swap Friend Sim, along with doing more work on our live 2D model that I've been working on for a couple days now. But we just have the blueprint done so far, so. But if you're looking at this one, this is my current model. Uh, my current live 2d model i made myself took me about three months to make uh the hat is not part of the dealio it is a prop from uh vtube studio just letting you know but yeah so hopefully you guys are having a good week i know i have had a pretty good week so far got to do a lot of fun stuff this and that played some diablo with some friends i restarted um breath of the wild actually it's been really good so far um taking my time with it Getting a lot of the different dungeons and stuff so I get a lot of health and whatnot. I never technically beat the game. I would love to stream it, but I don't currently have a capture card capable of doing that. So we can't do that for now. For now it's just a single player, my time off stream kind of game. But it is what it is. <clears throat> but if you'd like, I also have a uh, 2D, a PNG model. If you'd like, just go follow, follow the artist Honeybark. They're super sweet. They do stream as well. And they made my beautiful 2D PNG model. 2D, my PNG model that I absolutely adore. So please, go give them a follow. I, I know they'd really appreciate it. And I know I would too. Tell them I sent them your way. Sent them their way. I got this. I got this. I got this. <clears throat> Anyways, let me load up. Hive swap friend sim. Bamboo. There we go. Probably gonna have to turn off the music for this one. Hive swap friends. Oh, it's a game. Let me tell you. Mm. Yeah, it's not gonna be full. I think I can full screen it. Let's full screen it. There we go. Oh, but I can't see my cursor for some reason. The reason I can't see my cursor? Hold on. There we. Oh no, I can't see my cursor. That doesn't help me. Um. Hmm. Okay, guess we'll window it because I can't see my cursor. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's still full screen for you, so that's good. Okay. So, hi everybody. This is Hive Swap Friend Sim. It's a friend simulator, or technically it's in the pose of a kind of dating sim, but you're kind of making friends with all the different trolls of Alternia. We don't know what time period technically before or after Spurb or any of that, from what I remember, but there are some interesting folks here. 
Yes, I will be trying to do voices the entire time. Don't worry. But <clears throat> I do hope you'll enjoy it. I kind of wanted to do another read through of it because my friend Flace, who I'm, I'll shout out real quick, very nice, very awesome bunny that I met about a year or so ago when I started VTubing. Uh, she's very sweet and please go support her. I know she would love it. I would too. Okay, so I swap friends then. Let's see. Uh, so I did go ahead and do one of the routes. Uh, just to kind of test and see if I could do it. See how it worked on my computer. <clears throat> I'm actually going to change the tech speed. No, the tech speed's fine. I don't remember. Tech speed's fine. Uh, let's close menu. Okay, we'll start it up. Here we go. So, volume one of Bloodthirst and Bratwurst. So it has all the volumes. It was on sale last week, really cheap. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it because I want to support the people who are continuing this awesome little web comic and, you know, just helping, helping make sense of all this shit. And just make, I do have loads and whatnot. I'll probably be over uh, loading them too, just to make sure, but we have to have choices. We have to make sure to save at choice points. If we don't, then we'll get lost and we'll have to go through all the text again. It's not fun. Volume one of Bloodthirst and Bratwurst. <clears throat> you have just crashed landed on a planet called Alternia and staggered from the smoldering wreckage of your ship. You are now completely alone in a strange world, desperate for information, for provisions, and possibly a bit of medical attention. But most of all, you are desperate for friendship. Won't someone on this godforsaken rock be your buddy? Any weirdo will do. You're not that picky. Hang on. What's this now? Is someone approaching? Okay. <clears throat> we have Ardata, Carmia, and Diamond Zikali. Zikali? <clears throat> Chat, is there one you want in particular, or do you just want to let me pick? Who does chat want? Let me know. Let me know. Come on. Don't worry. I got the hard hat on for a good reason. This might hurt a little bit. That's why. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Can I make a poll? Let's make a poll. Why not? Our daughter or Diamond? You have a minute to vote. Uh, go ahead. Are we going to try to befriend our daughter or Diamond first? Two first. Go ahead, chat. One is a Cerulean blood. I want to say Cerulean. Uh, definitely the same cast as, uh, wow, Vriska. I just couldn't think of the name. The same cast as Vriska. And then we have Diamond, the same cast as, oh, wow. I forgot the names of all the Homestuck characters. I can picture her. I can picture her perfectly, though. Hmm. If not, we'll just go left to right. I love that little laugh shit. And look at her nails. The yellow on top of the blue. I think that's actually really pretty. That wink. And then diamond. Just that smile. That damn smile. What is he hiding behind those bangs? And that hot dog. We'll never know. All right. We're just going to go with our daughter then. Boop. Our daughter, Carmia. Yes, someone is approaching. A strange gray-skinned alien, clad in blue. Perhaps they will make for a good friend. Oh, her music. Dear God. And just what are you supposed to be? Your stammering reply eventually conveys that you are a lost traveler who is hungry and probably in some need of medical treatment. 
You're also really lonely. I wouldn't mind making a new friend right now. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, how funny this is. How very droll. You. You want to be my friend. It's too much. This, this thing at my doorstep. Wishing to know me in any capacity. The hilarity somehow escapes my ability to capture with maniacal laughter. How rare. You apologize for your presumptuous request. You hang your head, turn around, and begin to walk away. And just what the fuck do you think you're doing? Hmm? Who invited you to leave? You stop in your tracks obediently and turn to face her again. Your possible broken ribs are throbbing in pain, but this does not strike you as the right moment to exhibit weakness. It dawns on me that you may have gotten off on the wrong saunter pod. Where are my manners? Ghastly behavior on my part. After all, it is your fault. You seem to be some sort of hideous freak, is it? And such a tragic creature cannot be held responsible for such a devastating shortfall of social competence. I would weep for you, really, except that crying out of three eyes at once gets a bit messy. So instead, I think I'll be saving my tears to someone less offensively worthless. Your... You aren't sure if she's inviting you inside, or if she just got you to stay a little longer. So she could insult you some more. You try to remain stoic, while your confrontational new friend decides what to do with you. Fortunately, you sniffle slightly. <laughs> oh. Oh my, oh dear, you're... sad. <laughs> <laughs> so amusing to me. Mildly endearing, even. Perhaps I'll decide later if it's endearing. Once I have more information, it's entirely possible that I will retroactively decide it's disgusting. But for now, try to put yourself at ease. You completely pitiful fool. No one more sniff. Not one more sniff. Do you understand? You nod while practicing some flurry control over your nose. <clears throat> You've gotten yourself so agitated. I wonder why. You have nothing to worry about from me. Of course, I will be your friend. Conditionally, I mean. There is a chance the designation will be formalized if you behave in ways that I approve of, starting now. Let's call it a friendship in progress, agreed? Your heart swells. This is what you've waiting for? A new friend? Oh gosh. All you have to do now is try not to fuck anything up at all, possibly for many hours. Come into my hive. This way, after me, you look like you could use nourishment. I don't generally, I don't know what it is that whatever you are eats, generally. But it doesn't matter. You will eat whatever it is I have on hand. If I tell you to, how does that sound? How does it sound? That's a safe point. Uh, oop. Yes. Uh, I'll say it sounds good. I'll do whatever you say. Sounds good. Obviously, it sounds good. You will definitely enjoy it. You enjoy everything I provide you with and tell you to do. I can't imagine any sort of negativity or disagreement coming from one of my friends. I will assume that we share this philosophy when it comes to friendship. You say, oh yes, absolutely. You nod as enthusiastically as you can, without aggravating your broken ribs. Consider giving her a thumbs up as well, until you realize one of your arms is probably broken too. You'll try to make sure she doesn't notice though, it will probably leave a bad impression. Come with me, there's nothing. There's something I need your help with. Ooh, look at that, hold on, how do I remove the text? Not that one. Uh, I think it's this one. Ah, there we go! Is it? Oh, those troll horns uses a... And there's beat hooks. Okay. And knives. And... Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> you follow her into her hive. It's a bit gloomy in here. You suppose she's going to fix you something to eat soon, as promised. You pass through her kitchen and... Out the other side. To another room. Okay, you guess dinner can wait. This way, try not to let any of your broken limbs slow you down. A good friend wouldn't allow such trifling physical ailments cause me any inconvenience. 
Oh, uh, so you guess she does know you're injured? Fair enough. You hobble a little faster through another door into a much darker room. And now, down a flight of stairs. It's hard to see. There are torches along the wall ahead. A monstrous noise rumbles below. Don't mind her. She's just hungry. She's always hungry, though. What's that? You're hungry, too? I have not forgotten. What sort of piece of shit friend do you take me for? I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of water today. I forgot how much reading this is. <laughs> Woo. You didn't mind. You didn't remind her that you're hungry. You thought it though. Can she read your mind? You hope not. It's going to make this friendship in progress a bit awkward. Here we are. This is where you'll be most used with me as a friend. Oh. Okay. Hi, our daughter. Ages too, huh? And what that is? You look around. With a sense of relief, you see no sign of whatever hungry thing was rumbling down here. You are less relieved to see several other kids trapped in cages of various shape and size. One of them makes eye contact with you. The boy is the same kind of alien as her, horns and all. He has a dark red symbol on his shirt. His expression seems to plead with you. He struggles to say, Hell... Your new friend looks un unamused and twitches her finger. Hell, plo he says. Help, plo by which I mean, hello, of course. It looks like you're the new friend in progress chosen by the great and beautiful Ardata. She's my savior, my reason for being. I'm nothing without her. I'd hollow myself out and let her make a nest inside of me if she permit it. You turn away from this boy. You don't want to hear anything he has to say ever again. <laughs> Oh, whoops, I did not mean to say it. Hold on. <clears throat> Don't mind him. He's always regarded himself as a comedian. Come over here. This is what I need your help with. If you're going to have any value to me as a friend. You led to a dark corner of this. Well, you're going to call it like you see it. This dungeon. Your new friend is a dungeon full of sad, suffering children. And presumably a monster lurking somewhere in this here as well? It's not ideal. Then again... Social beggars like you can't be choosers. I've been having fun, having an awful time with it. You can do it for me. It will save me time. You look at the thing in question. You doubt she's been having an awful time with it. You doubt this because it's still in its box, looking completely untouched since it was brought down here. It's a box containing a table? A table that looks ominously like it was designed to keep a person strapped to its surface. I will need you to assemble it. Here's a screwdriver, in case you need it. I will assume other required tools are contained in the box. You take the screwdriver with your non-broken arm. This isn't exactly what you had in mind. You don't know what you had in mind, really. A warm meal? A friendly banter? Perhaps a sling for your arm? and a remedial bomb for your ribs. Still, you open the box without protest. Hold on, before you start, this will make for excellent content. Hello? Streamer? Streamer? Hello? Streamer friend? Hello? I don't know if I want her as my streamer friend, but streamer friend, hello? Hello? My fans will appreciate this. And there she is. She sets up a video recording device on a tripod and points it at you. A video feed comes to life on several monitors just behind you. You see in one corner of a screen an unflattering angle of your torso hunched over the furniture box. Other rectangles contain shots of the other kids in cages around the room. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you suppose cameras are pointing at them too. You had no idea this friendship came with the perk of instant stardom. Now you may begin. She's suddenly sitting in a comfortable looking chair facing you and holding a chalice swishing around some viscous liquid it contained. You have all the parts spread out on the floor, organized according to the labels and the instructions. You try to remember the last time you assembled something like this. You don't recall enjoying it. To be perfectly honest, this doesn't look like it will be fun at all. She frowns conspicuously. How? How sad for you. I'm sorry. Is this activity not to your liking? You reassure her vigorously that, no, it is, actually looks amazing. You love shit like this. It's what you were born for, you say. 
as you swoosh the screwdriver around, demonstrating your plainly evident skill with the tool. Forget the thing you just thought. Uh, completely arbitrary and wrong thoughts pop into your head all the time. It meant nothing, you swear. <laughs> yes, I hear that a lot. Continue. You open the little bag full of screws. Jesus, there were like 50 screws this thing. Where can most of the screws possibly even go? So we got Ikea furniture is what you're saying? It's basically I Ikea furniture? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where could most of these screws possibly even go? Judging from the picture, the table really doesn't seem that complicated. Look at your screwdriver, then study the screws. Every single one requires an Allen wrench. Does this even come with an Allen wrench? The instructions seem to suggest it does. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> You look around, but don't see one. Did you open the bag too forcefully? Did the Allen wrench go bouncing off into a dark dungeon crevice nearby? Have you lost some of the screws too? Damn it. You begin to sweat and look around nervously. You check underneath one of the parts. No, not under there. Pick up the screwdriver a little tighter. You wonder what to do next. Get the hell out of here or just do your best to the table. This is what friends are for. Uh, we'll save. Boop. Yes. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. First you clear your head and try to think innocent thoughts. Fluffy clouds in the sky. Ironing some clothes. A winning touchdown pass from the sports. From the sports. You know, like football. And soccer. And, uh... I don't fucking know. I don't know sports. I'm a gamer. Our daughter's long black hair spilling over her cloak. Her... Wait. These are not innocent thoughts. Shut it down. Shut it down! <clears throat> There's no time for thinking. You have to act. You hurl the screwdriver at her and run. She calmly lifts a hand toward one of the kids in the cages. The kid tenses up and lifts a hand in the direction of the screwdriver. The screwdriver freezes mid-air right in front of our daughter's head. Ugh. You run up the stairs. She twitches a finger. The cage kid does a, fully, a full body spasm and the screwdriver goes sailing towards you. It stabs deep into your leg, and you buckle over, tumbling backwards down the stairs. You're a crumpled heap at the bottom of the stairs, bleeding, and you think your arm is broken in two places now. Oh. That didn't seem very friendly to me. Luckily for you, I'm very determined to make relationships work. Even for one with people, even ones with people who flee simply furniture, simple furniture assembly project. She stands over you. You attempt to pull the screwdriver out of your leg, but your entire body locks up. You can't move. She holds an outred's hand just above you. You shouldn't try to move yet. And you certainly shouldn't try to pull out that screwdriver. You'll get blood everywhere. To my three little eyes, under the present condition, it seems to me that only one of us should attempt walking up these stairs. You feel relieved. Perhaps she has some alien means of levitating you up the stairs? Wait. No. Your body is sensing up again. It's moving it out with your permission. You get to your feet without taking the screwdriver out. Wow, that hurts. What is she making you... Wait, what? She can't be. You use both your arms and all your strength and pick her up entirely. The pain from your arm is excruciating. Arms with broken bones are not meant for heavy lifting. The additional weight on your wound leg isn't great either. One sec. <clears throat> oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to get plenty of hydration today. For reading all this in pretty much a bunch of different voices. <laughs> oh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you hold her as a groom would hold a bride. She wraps her arms around her neck to hang on to you in what strikes you as an overly familiar manner. She looks... Oh, sorry, I lost track. Uh, she looks directly into your eyes and grins. This is better. Now, onward and upward, new friend. <laughs> your legs begin to operate without your consent. They wobble and struggle under the weight. The wound throbs. You lumber back up the long flight of stairs, carrying her all the way. Back in the kitchen again. 
You take her back to the kitchen and set her down in a chair seated at the table. You didn't think I'd forget about dinner time, did you? Let's put your unfriendly behavior behind us. It's a good thing for you that I'm benevolent enough to overlook disgusting acts of betrayal. You may not have noticed I keep several friends in my hive who I have similarly forgiven. Consider the transgression blood beneath the abattoir. I, I was kind of surprised I did that correctly in her voice. Uh, claps to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, claps. Clap now, please. Claps, please. I deserve claps or head pats. I'm head pat myself. Damn, I'm good. Damn right, I'm good. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. You exhale. Now that you mentioned it, yes, you are hungry. Maybe a warm meal will lift your spirits and get this hair to here tofer here here to oh god I I did that one correct but I can't do a hair to here tofer oh my god hold on hold on I'm gonna do this right here to did I spell it correctly here to four how's it spelled? Really? That's how it's said? Well, hold on. So apparently, this is how you say that. Here to four. Here to four. Here to four. That's... Okay, here to four. I was right. There are going to be some... There are definitely going to be some words I don't know <laughs> in this hive swap. Your this heretofore turbulent friendship back on track. Maybe you'll even get the chance to pull the screwdriver out of your leg. You pull out a chair and attempt to sit down, but your legs lock up. And then you stand again. Apparently it was not the right thing to do. Oh, but why are you sitting? There's cooking to be done. You stagger mechanically over to the fridge and open it. You pull out a large hawk of some sort of alien mystery meat and put it on the counter. With your broken arm, you reach in anguish for a big dangling meat cleaver. You chop the hock, wincing with each swing of the cleaver. You place the sliced meat in a frying pan, sear it lightly, and serve it on a plate very rare, just the way your new friend likes it. You didn't know that's the way she likes it, but you surmise this is why she prefers a piece of meat, since technically she is the one doing the cooking. You put it on the table in front of her, along with a pork and knife beside it. Your muscles relax, as you apparently are allowed to control your body again. She does not, she does nothing, except for look at you with a pleased expression. You eye the meat in front of her, then the meat on the counter, and the chair on the other side of the table. What should you do? Prepare a plate for yourself? Is that what she wants you to do? Well, it looks like you're confused. Isn't it obvious what to do next, under your own volition? A good friend would know what to do. In fact, I don't think a good friend would take nearly as long to decide what the right thing to do next is. It actually seems to me that a very rude friend would hesitate for as long as you are hesitating. Or perhaps someone is not a friend at all. You begin to sweat again. You clearly don't have much time to make up your mind. If you wait for even a few seconds longer, you will probably be guilty of being a bad friend. Maybe even a dreadful one. That's not the type of person you like to think you are. What will you do? Feed her. That's the only option. <laughs> this feels like the only obvious thing to do. She looks. She is looking up at you quite expectantly. You reach for the fork with your good arm. You go for the knife with your other... Ow. You can't do it. The armor is much less serviceable when the muscles are not being forced by a psychic override to disregard the pain response. Nevertheless, she looks at you patiently and smiles. That's nice of her, you think. Not to be mad about it. You feel like you're growing closer to your new friend by the minute. You put the fork down, pick up the knife with your good arm. You cut the meat into several pieces with a careful sawing motion. You put the knife down and pick up the fork and stab a piece. Excuse me. <clears throat> you put it close to her mouth. She seems pleased. 
Give me. Very good technique. Very good. Nice technique. Well sized morsels, too. She chews the meat with excellent form. She has very good table manners. I think. When she finishes the piece, you slice off some more and continue. This, the meat looks very good. Her mouth's watering. She doesn't offer any. Oh well, uh, when it's the right time for you to eat too, you're sure she will let you. The meal is finished. There is no more meat, except for a few pieces of unchewable gristle, which you did not try to feed her. That would be thoughtless. Very bad service. She reclines and steeples her fingers, looking quite pleased with how the evening has gone so far. <laughs> you aren't sure what she's laughing. Did you do something funny? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what a fool. You pointed yourself. I wonder if she's referring to you. You don't know what you've done that was foolish. If so... You're also still not sure what she finds so amusing. Oh. He pauses her laughter for a minute or two. Wow, I read that wrong. <laughs> then slowly begins to frown. A faint blue tear rolls down her cheek and her bottom eye. The truth is, I don't even know why I'm laughing. This isn't very funny. What's happening here? It was a good dinner. You did a good job. Whoever you are. She puts her face in both of her hands and sobs quietly. You have no idea what to do about this. You stand there, still holding the fork, feeling a bit useless. There is a lot of pressure, you know. Being so respected and admired for your high status in this world. Girl, preach. Preach. Look at how respected and admired I am. Like, come on. I understand you completely. 100% Ardana. Preach. <laughs> I didn't ask for this to be so superior to so many. Oh, mm, favorite troll already. Favorite troll right here. Much is expected of you, much is presumed about what your personality will be, before you even develop one. Hmm. Okay. You work hard and build a brand, based only on what you think people assume you should be like. God. Getting a little too real. Sometimes I wonder, am I even that good at being sinister? You kind of made me set up Ikea furniture, so I mean... Eh. Could I be more sinister? I tried harder. Maybe this is not my true calling after all. You begin to offer words of sympathy. This is all this all seems heartbreaking to you. You're a poor new friend, but your jaw muscles contract and your mouth shuts involuntarily. You guess it's not your turn to speak yet. Okay, uh, that works for you. You like to be a good listener to your friends. But what would happen if I changed my brand? If I stop being so sinister online. Oh god, I can imagine the VTubers that like are actually kind of sinister to your, their chat and their community. But like, their chat likes that. They probably think this too, sometimes. My friends and followers will deride and reject me. And my superiors will eat me alive. If I show weakness, if I scale back on my bloodthirsty content, will I incur the scorn of a wise-ass clown with a hundred million subscribers? Ooh, wise ass clown. Yeah, purple bloods are kind of assholes. And uh, the clowns especially in this world. Will I be in a cage someday listening to a fucking fool honk his horn for likes? No. I must persist. How lonely it is to know this is all I can do till the day I leave this planet. I have no material or sensory comforts left for me here. Till I can get on a ship and fly away. Pain is my only solace. Yeah, so when they become of age, I think it's seven sweeps or 13 sweeps in their time. They have to leave the planet. There's no adult trolls allowed on the planet. According to Homestuck. It's just the kids. And they're essentially free to do whatever the fuck they want on this planet. And the hemospectrum 
or the blood caste system of this planet, depending on how, like, quote-unquote pure your blood is, it's confusing either way to us and them. Um, how high up you are on the hemo spectrum depends, like, how much, you know, uh, clout, I guess you could say, uh, you have in society. Our data, as a quote unquote cerulean blood, is kind of right in the middle between. I think there's a one more cast above her that's dark blue, and the next cast up is purple bloods, which are the highest cast of the system. And they are insane, <laughs> let me tell you. But she's kind of on that teetering edge of hierarchy and middle class. So she kind of has to, you know play a role or play the role she's given but she kind of wants to stop that's how, that's how i see it she kind of wants to be herself but she can't rebrand or not be herself anymore because society says this is who you are and this is the brand that she's brought up with she doesn't want to be beaten down by some asshole clown who is in a higher caste in this world who would ruin her that's the whole thing sorry i know a little little bit of exposition your hand holding the fork grips it tighter. You're horrified to realize what it is in the process of doing. You bring it down hard on her hand, which is placed flat on the table. She doesn't flinch or react in any way. Three trails of cerulean blood. She is cerulean, okay. Flow from the, tine, uh, the tines where the pierce her skin. Tine? Tines are like, I'm assuming tines are, I don't know. All right, we're gonna learn some words today. Tines are... I want the definition of times, please. Definition. Times are a prong or sharp point that has that on a fork or antler. Tine. All right, I learned a new word today. That wasn't friendly, you think? But then, you weren't the one who did it, were you? You're so confused. My subscribers are not real friends. They adore me only for my sinister content, the show I provide, my wicked infectious laughter. I get jealous of them sometimes because they get to watch my content. It must be thrilling, I think, but maybe I'm just jealous of them because they get to be people who aren't me. This is fucking deep, I know. Apologies if you cannot relate. She pulls the fork out of her hand and lays it gently on the plate of crystal you didn't feed her people downstairs in their cages aren't my friends either. They act like they're my friends though, and sometimes I even believe it. But they don't really want to be friends with me. Nobody does. The only person who has ever really wanted to be a friend, who has ever tried to be, is you. You clear your throat and point to yourself innocently. That's it. I've decided. You have passed the test. You become my friend, officially. As such, I think a reward is in order. You are overjoyed. Your heart starts racing. You can't believe it. A new real friend. But you don't have much time to enjoy this achievement. Your body is doing something again. You bend down in a strained motion and pick up the plate and fork. You position the plate over your wide open mouth, scrape it in all the remaining gristle, and begin chewing. It's virtually inedible. Your mouth humors the act of chewing for two seconds and then you swallow all of it whole in one painful gulp. Tastes like friendship. Yeah! Friendship. Friendship is the gristle we eat along the way. True facts. And that is a goat fact. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Let's load back to the first decision we made. Okay, so how does it sound? It sounds fine, I guess. Get the fuck out of my face and never come back. Ah, rejection. We got the instant rejection, as it's called. I love how, okay, so a running theme that's pretty funny along, uh, they got different artists to do the artwork for each troll in the game and like their path. These get so much better as it goes, but it's just funny to see the early ones because look how like MS Paint quick drawn this is. It still looks really good. 
I'm really happy for the artist. It looks really, really good. But I still find it really funny how it looks. Oh, her hive is a castle too. Interesting. I should give him more regal standing voice. Okay, so we got the instant loss. Uh, we saw what happened to the first one, so we'll go back to this one. We already know what happens with feed her, so let's keep this one going. So last time we got the hell out of here, so we go to this one. Just do your best to send to the table. This is what friends are for. We decided it would be, it would be best not to complain about the missing Allen wrench. Your friend would probably consider it bad form. You'll just have to do it. You'll just make do and twist in all the screws by hand as best you can. You me. Now I know how voice actors sound when I have to do takes. My my throat is already like, Ugh, can't do it. My throat is just like burning a little bit. I'm trying to drink water when I can. <laughs> ah. Give me a second to find my voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> No, not that one. Look up something real quick. Hold on. Okay, got the definition page up just in case there's something I need to, to look at. Where was I? Your broken arm isn't making this any easier. You favor the one or the other one, though, and prop pieces into place precariously leaning against each other while you nudge them into position with your legs so, so the screw holes align. It's really frustrating work. You're not going to lie. As you are twisting in the first screw, the grooves slip and the screws get and the screw gets stuck. You've already turned it too bright, too tight. Oh my God. Now it's hard to get it out. You twist and reverse harder, but your fingers slip and the table pieces start to slide. They're going to fall. You react to catch them, but it's too late. The heavier piece tips over and slams you in the broken ribs on, on its way to the floor. Ugh. He hits the floor with a bang. The stuck screw pops out and goes bouncing 10 or 15 feet away, settling deep underneath a piece of dungeon furniture. God, you're probably going to need to get that. You were light chuckle. <laughs> Good. Good. She takes another sip from her chalice and settles even more comfortably into her chair. Is she enjoying her? I think she's enjoying watching you struggle to put this stupid thing together. Maybe a little too much. Nevertheless, you continue. A friend is a friend, and you don't like to let your friends down. You've committed yourself to this project. Hold on. Okay, so there's a way to look at... Because there are some trigger warnings. Specifically in the later ones and i want to make sure that people are ready for those if they happen i don't want to trigger anybody there are specific trigger warnings though nevertheless you continue there's blood in this one so if people don't like blood it it's coming up letting you know a friend is a friend and you don't like to let your friends down bring yourself to this project you will get the screw out from under there a bit later maybe when you need the final screw you turn your attention back to the table pieces and try a different strategy. You place the biggest part, the table platform, flat on the floor. The legs would be pointing upward if they were attached. Position one leg in the right spot in alignment with the holes. Sit on the table platform and set the leg with your feet. You grab another screw and concentrate. <laughs> she sounds so pleased. It's strange, you admit, for watching this sort of activity to make someone so happy. But you also have to admit to taking a certain pride in it. It's wonderful, actually, to feel useful, wanted, important even, if only somewhat menially, to a great new friend who has discovered a way for your talents to improve her life. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice one of the caged kids reaching out with his hand. He's concentrating. Then you notice the screw you lost slowly slide out from it from underneath its hiding place. Nice. Everyone's working like a team down here. Ardana does not look at the kid, but sneers a bit. She reaches towards him, and he appears to have trouble breathing. After a moment, you notice the screw slowly slides back into the thing. She releases him from his breath breathing problems, resumes her pleasant expression, and takes another sip from her chalice. I guess that was against the rules? 
you decide to make a note of it. Your friend runs a tight ship down here. You respect that. Oh, time skip. About an hour later, you have all four legs on, plus some other accoutrements. Haha, I know that word. You wrestle mightily with the thing to get it upright, using your only good arm. It seems she may have forgotten about the final missing screw. You doubt the table needs it. You decide you won't bring it up if she won't. You give it a test. It's pretty wobbly since you were only able to tighten the screws with your bare fingers. But again, she doesn't seem to mind. She reclines and has a look on her face which makes her appear absolutely enamored of your handiwork. She has finished her drink. The chalice, oh, let me drink real quick. Thank you. <sighs> Quench my palate. <clears throat> chalice is on a side table. Some awful looking thing crawls along the floor towards her. It looks like some sort of spider, the size of an average dog. Its abdomen is preposterously huge. Large, sorry. <laughs> huge, large, you know what I mean. Wink. Uh, actually, you think it's a huge tick? That's what it looks like. It settles just in front of her. Can I make this model blink? Hold on. Oh no, they move together. Aww. I wanna, the new model's definitely gonna have a blink. Or at least a, a like wink. I want to be able to wink at people. I'd probably make it an emotion or something. I do. She puts her legs on top of it and crosses them. It settles under their weight and crumbles. Let's try it out, shall we? You shrug and sit down on the rather rickety table. You're about to lie down, but she interrupts you. No. You fool. You absolute fool. What do you think you're doing? That's not what I meant. Get up. You stand up. Embarrassed. Again, without looking at the caged kid, she raises her arm towards him and beckons. He stares blankly and opens his own cage, which apparently wasn't locked. He shuffles vacantly over to your table and lies down on the surface. She looks at you expectedly. You aren't sure what to do. What? You didn't think I'd be playing table stickball in that thing, did you? You aren't sure what table stickball is. Oh, you really are pretty simple, aren't you? It's like a miniature version of arena stickball played on a table. Got it? You don't, but you nod. Now, go to it. <laughs> the shack you shackle the kid's arms and legs to the table. That seems to be the right thing to do, since the thing comes fitted with shackles. She gets up and lifts her huge tick- I would say tickle-like- tick-like pet. It makes more grumpy noises. She pops the enormous thing right down in the kid's chest. He appears rendered unable to protest. The tick bites the boy's neck and begins to feed. She smiles and pats its swelling abdomen. Dark, rust-colored blood dribbles from the place where it has attached to the boy's neck. Moments go by while she looks gratified by the process. Proud, almost. Then she looks at you expectantly. Well, you don't know what she means. The final screw. Aren't you going to retrieve it? Screw it into where it needs to go? The job isn't done. I don't keep the company of many individuals who leave things unfinished, you know. Hold on. Oh, now I know what I'm missing. Hold on. There it is. Bam. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't there. Anyways, now I have more stuff on my OBS. So I can look at stuff. <clears throat> of course, what were you thinking? You should have known your friend wouldn't let that go unnoticed. Actually, you feel like an idiot thinking it would. You stoop very low to the ground, on your knees, placing your cheek just above the floor. You peer into the large edifice. It's dark in there, and goes back a ways. Lots of room for that darn little screw to roll. You take a few pitiful swipes with your good arm, but come up empty. Must be further back. You... Think you can see it? Yeah, that must be it. Just a little farther. You have an idea. A tool would be useful. Guess the screwdriver will come in handy after all. Hmm. How did she know? Your new friend must be very wise. You think you're liking her more every minute. You grab the screwdriver and feel around with it. You... Yes! You got it. You think. You carefully scrape it closer to yourself and then pick it up. You then go back to the table and find the one remaining hole you left unscrewed. 
You slide it under the table as a mechanic would with a car. There it is. The table's creaking and wobbling quite a bit now. The tick is really getting into its dinner, it seems. All the loose screws on the table have added up to a lot of give and leeway in the overall stability of the furnishing. Maybe the final screw will help. Our daughter has returned to the setup with the monitors. She's adjusting some settings on the feed, controlling the zoom of the camera, and typing some remarks into a chat window. <laughs> this is very good material today. It's not often that I can provide content this caliber to my subscribers. Go on, complete your project. This will be very good. You still think it's weird that she likes watching you put furniture together so much, but you're not one to judge friends. Sounds like a great way to lose friends, honestly. You screw in the final screw, but the stresses on the table are causing the holes to misalign. This won't be easy. I'll turn down the music a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> the huge stick shifts its grotesque body above you, causing the table to creak loudly. You nervously slide halfway out from under the table to check it out. Thud, then a loud pop, and the sound of scraping metal. Six or seven screws shoot out from the desk like rivets in, sinking sub sub in a sinking submarine. What a piece of shit this thing is. I think a little too late. We really needed that Allen wrench. All four legs play dramatically out from underneath at once, like a baby deer on ice. Hey, Bambi. The table platform comes crashing down on your lower torso, breaking your pelvis. You bellow in pain and flail to pull yourself out. Huh. Oh, you forget that you're still holding the screwdriver. In your desperate flailing, you plunge the screwdriver into the fat abdomen of the tick, which begins gushing rust colored with rust blood with great force, spraying your entire body and face. The beast starts thrashing wildly and screaming. You can't see your new friend due to the blood in your eyes, but you can't imagine she stood about what's going on here. <laughs> your, annihilated, your annihilated pelvis is in perfect agony. You have to get your miserable torso out from under the shitty table. You have an idea. With your broken arm, you start slapping the big ass, the screaming tick, while you're like, yeehaw! You clutch the screwdriver handle with your other hand hard. The blood gushing monster starts kicking and rearing, then blasts off across the dungeon floor like a pig at a rodeo. You hold on for dear life, still blind, but your plan works. You've been pulling out from under the tomb. You've been pulled out from under the tomb you've spent the last hour constructing for yourself. Your pelvis is in ruins, but at least you're free now and riding like the wind. As you and the blood spewing tick tearing around the room, crashing into stuff, you hear a boy crying. I guess our daughter became distracted enough by your foolish display to cease her paralyzation method on him. Or maybe distracted is the wrong word. Maybe she's disappointed by your foolishness. Oh god, you might be blowing it right now. The tick swerves suddenly and starts running up the stairs. Ow, ow, ow! Your brittle pelvis feels every step on the way up. It careens to the rest of the hive, crashes at the front door, then comes to a sudden halt. You're catapulted violently over its backside and sail 50 yards through the air. You land on your ass and wipe the blood from your eyes. Okay, this was embarrassing. But everyone makes mistakes, right? You can still salvage this friendship. Y you know you can. You turn back to look at her hive. Our daughter is standing in her door with a furious look on her face. She's flipping you off. He would not be my friend. Rejection. Mm, yeah. We got rejected. It is what it is. You can only do so much. Whew, that voice takes a lot out of me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Give me a break for a second. Ooh. I think it's because I'm trying to force the deeper voice that, uh, it's a little harder. Just a little bit. Gimme. Woo! The music was really good for this, though. They did a good job. I'm gonna drink some more water real quick. Let's change my hat. Why not? Let's do a new hat. 
What is the hat for today? Hmm. I feel cute. Let's put the cute. Uh, uh, yes. Cozy blanket. Ah. All nice and snug and ready to make friends. Yes. Perfect. Comfy time. If I can't be comfy, my model can be comfy. I'm, I'm comfy, but still. <clears throat> Water. Water break. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh. All right, it's time to meet. <clears throat> it's time to meet Damon. Diamond? Damon? I don't know. Okay, we've already read the first one. So I'll go. We already read this. Friendship. Blah, blah, blah. Diamond! Good boy. <clears throat> Yes, someone's approaching. A strange gray skinned alien with a cozy looking vest. Perhaps they'll make for a good friend. Oh, I love his theme. <laughs> it's just all casual. I'll turn it down. I'll do a little bit. Yeah, certain themes are a little lower than others, so I'm just trying to stand at where I have it at. What's up? Ooh! I- hang on, sorry. I didn't get a good look at you before I started talking. I guess you're really weird looking. Kind of uncomfortable about this. Your stammering reply eventually conveys that you are a lost traveler who is hungry and probably in, need, in some need of medical treatment. You're also really lonely and wouldn't mind making a new friend right about now. Hungry, huh? I see what your game is. You aren't sure what he's talking about, then your eyes drift toward the obvious target. That exquisite hot dog he's holding. It looks really, really good. Your mouth starts watering noticeably. Ah, no. I knew it. You're just like all the rest. Your agenda is to have my del relinquish my delicacy. Well, forget it. I've been tricked out of two other oblong meat products this week already. I know you probably think I'm an easy mark to my blood color, but I still have some dignity at least. You don't know what anything about his blood color or why that would matter in this conversation about his hot dog? You're hungry, sure, but you didn't mean to cast a threatening gaze at this meal. All you really want is to do is to make a new buddy, so you don't feel quite so alone in this strange world. I see. So you just want a friend and not my sweet meat? Sorry, I get a little paranoid when I walk around with such delicacies in public. Uh, you can't be too careful. Folks tend to get that greedy look in their eyes around my warm sausage. <laughs> hey, Neon. Hey, Shinobi, what's up? We're reading Hive Swap, Friend Sim. I'm doing voices as best I can. <laughs> How you been, buddy? I have to drink a lot of water because this lower voice is actually kind of hurting me. Not really hurting, it's just using a different part of my throat. <clears throat> there are odd ways to express the things he's saying, you think. But it would be rude to point that out. Probably best to change the subject. Get this blossoming friendship moving in the right direction. Do we ask if he lives nearby or ask if he can have a bite of his hot dog? It looks amazing. People want his warm sausage? Does this belong in on OF? <laughs> no, this character just has a very particular love for oblong meat products and delicacies, as it were, which are hot dogs. It's just this character's kind of thing. Every troll in this game has a particular, like, quirk, and this is kind of his. Yeah, see, he's not happy that we want his hot dog. I'm gonna go with the first option. Unless, what do you guys, what do you think, Shinobi? 
What option should we go with? Should we ask if he lives nearby? Or uh, ask if we, you can have a bite of his hot dog? It looks amazing. I would not eat that hot dog. The bun is green, the frank has horns or spikes or something. Well, this is an alien hot dog. So, you know, it's gonna look different than a regular hot dog. Just how it is. Love his music too, it's very good. What do you think we should do? So we're not asking him to eat his hot dog? Lives nearby. All right, let's do that. Uh, yeah, or right, I used to, I mean. <laughs> and my place is bombed by drones a while ago. Uh, now, I don't have a hive, but I'm making it work out here. And also, they have a typing quirk as well. So this one's quirk is... Hot dog buns. One, two... Left and right side of a hot dog bun. Forging for tasty things when I can. I've gotten pretty good at it. Talking people into giving me meat products, I mean. You quickly feel a sense of pity for your new friend. You thought you had a rough crash landing here, hungry and friendless. And come to think of it, it feels like your arm is broken. Your ribs too, maybe. But enough self-pity. This is about making a new great friend. You ask your, your friend if there's anything you can do to improve his life. Oh, wait. Are we friends now? Like, this is official. Is that official? Man, I don't know. Uh, why don't we slow it down a bit and uh, see how things go? I'm not saying it's out of the question. I just think I should take some time to see if you're actually friendship material. Someone I trust, you know. Not another looky-loo gunning for my delicacy. Oh, damn. You got over your, your skis again. Of course, he's right. This is totally reasonable. You feel sure you can do what it takes to win him over. You make a mental note to avoid looking at or mentioning his hot dog. Since it seems to be such a sensitive subject. You do everything in your power to avert your gaze from the hot dog. You are aggressively not looking at it, in fact. Don't think hot dog thoughts. Don't think hot dog thoughts. It's working. This guy takes friendship way too seriously. It's not like you're buying him a ring. See, the thing is, as the reader, the story was we crashed on an alien planet. Right now, we're kind of beaten up. Not bloodied, but we have a lot of broken bones. And we have a hunger for friendship for some reason and a hunger to fix ourselves. But sadly, our friends can't really do that right now. So right now, we're trying to make a friend. And we'll see where things go later. No, this isn't a dating sim. This is called a friend sim because it is a friend sim. You're just making friends in this game. There is a later chapter where things do happen. But it's only one chapter. I think there's uh, trigger warnings and stuff in there too. Just in case. Never heard of this game. Uh, if you know Homestuck, you've heard of this game. <laughs> I have read Homestuck, uh, the epilogues, uh, Homestuck 2, and now Hive Stop and Pest Request are two things that I have watched someone read, but I wanted to read them myself on stream and relive what was happening. It's pretty good, um, but be ready for a very long read if you're thinking about getting into uh, Homestuck. <laughs> Never heard of that genre? Oh, never heard of the game. Friend Sim, yeah, it is a game. It's kind of indie, I guess. <laughs> That's a way to put it. We'll keep going. Let me take some water real quick. <sighs> Delicious water. I'm gonna need more water soon. <laughs> you weren't thinking about hot dogs at all. It's like he isn't even holding one. And no one ever even brought up the fact that hot dogs exist. He seems to notice, on some primal level, your current non-hot dog mindset. He smiles. You pay closer attention to the boy's face. It's a nice smile he has, actually. Very kind, disarming. A few freckles here and there. A mop of bossy hair, drape, m messy hair, draping over his eye. Excuse me. What a nice friend this would be to have, you think. 
He's kind of adorable, really. If you disregard the prickly attitude about his hot dog. Okay, wait a minute. You don't want to start thinking thoughts that are too friendly. <laughs> you should dial this down a little. Stick to the basics. You just want a cool new friend, nothing more. You should try to spark up some non-meat related conversation soon. Before things get awkward. You wonder about his house. He got bombed? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. A routine drone passed through my hood. A little bombing, a little culling. So, culling is killing. Just letting you know. That's how it goes around here. I was the lucky one. My Lucius, not so much. He's a goner. You don't know what a Lucius is, but you can deduce it was someone important to him. Also, they cry the color of their blood. Which his blood is rust colored, so kind of a red. Who probably died in the bombing. Rather than overwhelm him with annoying questions about his culture, you decide that you decide the right place to show some sympathy. Thanks. I miss him. I sometimes I think I enjoy savory bun delights as a way of covering up the pain. They're so good I thought it's hard to stop. Also, I favored the juicy meats before he died anyway. It's something we did together. How did we start talking about my hot dog once more? Let's drop it. Please, dude, don't bring it up again. You didn't bring it up, but you don't want to correct him. The boy is clearly grieving. You see two faint red tears roll down his cheeks from behind his, the messy banks. Your heart can't take it. You have to console this homeless boy somehow. Then he'll definitely be your friend. But what to do? What do you say? Uh, I'm about to start Discord streams. So have a good one. Good luck making friends. Thank you, Shinobi. Let me shout you out real quick. Uh, wow, I forgot a shout out. If you guys can, go give Shinobi a follow. Uh, they're not really streaming on Twitch because I think their internet's been really bad lately. But if you can, join their Discord and you can probably get it off their uh, stream. And they'll be streaming on there. Really nice friend. Really good puns. Really nice guy. Please go help them out. <clears throat> if you want my advice, I'd behoove you to stay humble. Don't toot your own horns. <laughs> you goat this. Do you see what I mean? This is what he does. He comes into my stream, does some dad puns and leaves. I love it. I'm going to give him a friendly pat on the back. You keep it simple and pat him on the back a couple times. Everything's going to be okay. Since you're his new friend, or at least working towards earning that status, he has a new ally to keep him with, to help him with whatever comes his way. He wipes his tears and appears to get himself back together. Your friendly gesture works. You're right. I shouldn't let the past get me down. In a way, I'm free. I'm off the grid. They probably think I died. Uh, no need to worry about knocks on my door because I don't have a door anymore. Uh, maybe I can live off the land for the rest of my life. Scrounging for scrumptious indulgences, indulgences wherever I may find them. I love this. This is the cutest little sprite of him, I think. Adorable. By rummaging through uh, awful drums, or through talking the right mark. Sounds like the life, honestly. I'll miss my Lucis, but I, I think he would be proud of me. If I can make it without him, I can if I can survive on my own, I know he would be proud. Maybe I don't even need to leave the planet? Maybe I can avoid taking the ordeals altogether. I can't test who you can't find, or can't test who you can't find. If I play my cards right, I can probably live to ripe old age on this planet without getting caught. I like hiding in alleys, doors. Shaping the other just enough succulent protein to keep myself going. Awesome. Honestly, I don't think you need to get by that long. Since I have a much shorter lifespan than most trolls. So I think I might just be able to make this work. You look confused at the last remark. But again, don't want to be impolite. He holds up his hand as if to tell you not to bother. Aw, thank you for the head patch, Shinobi. I appreciate it. I can't tell what you- I can tell you're not from here, that's okay. Rust bloods don't live a long time. Blood classes higher than me live progressively longer than the higher up you go. Sea dwellers live basically forever. 
kind of crazy and it seems unfair, but that's how it is. I'd be jealous of them, but I think I'm not. I'm almost grateful that I don't have very long to make it in this world. I don't think that what I'd do if I had longer. I'm happy to settle on a nice short ride, keep a low profile, take in some good meat along the way. Well, his, you do notice his horns are, uh, they're Franks, uh, you know, hot dogs, wieners, if you were. I'm not the one saying it. I did say it. Never mind. This bit is over now. Nothing wrong with that life, if you ask me. You understand, it seems like a tragic story, but if your friend has made peace with his destiny, you might as well too. You offer a sympathetic shrug and continue your impressive streak of consecutive seconds not looking at his hot dog. He smiles again. He seems to be relaxing, gripping the hot dog a little less tightly. That's good. You know, you're good at listening. Not many people understand me at all. A lot of people find overly possessive attitude towards me to the light to be strange and off-putting. I've heard this more than once and lost some friends that way. Whew. There are some past personal dramas I do not want to get think about, let me tell you. But you're different. Maybe you put me at ease because you're obviously you're even lower than me? <laughs> I don't know, man. You're pretty low on the cast. No offense, but you are. Drones would vapor at the horn of the goof like you, no questions asked. Oh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You laugh it off. You're not scared, you say. You survived worse. You bat your broken ribs and wince. You clutch the sore ribs with your broken arm and wince even harder because of that. Oh man. It's like that arm hurt arm that arms hurts. Huh. Hurt, huh? I guess it's broken. Let's see what we can do about that. Here, hold this a second. He hands you his hot dog without hesitation. Oh, wow. He wants you to hold it? This is such a remarkable gesture of trust. Gesture of trust. You're overwhelmed. You gingerly take the hot dog with your good arm, being very careful. You hold the hot dog from beneath with your fingertips as if it's a priceless, delicate treasure. He takes off his vest and puts it on the ground. Then he takes off his shirt. You avert your eyes for a moment, then realize that's silly. Nothing particularly indecent about this, you suppose. If he's comfortable, so are you. Then he puts his vest back on, takes the hot dog back from you, and hands you the shirt. Here, make a sling out of it. That should help. He's right, it does help. Your broken arm is a lot more comfortable and secure. This shirt smells like meat, too. You can't tell if you think that's a bonus, or if it's weird. You decide it's a bonus. This is your new friend. He loves meat, and so do you. It's your greatest common interest, in fact. Just two bros looking at each other. They both love meat. You're the weird one for watching. So, haha. -ha. Nice. You know, I think we make a pretty good team. I don't know if I'm ready to officially call you my friend yet, but I may be getting close. You're pushing all the right buttons, man. Just being someone who listens and understands. You have no idea how much that means to me. Aww. You're so happy to hear this. It makes your heart sing. Well, if you're keeping it totally real, some of these things he's saying are just a little strange. Like, maybe this boy wasn't really socialized properly? By his looses, you guess? You think that might be his dad? But again, you don't dare ask. Now when the positive feelings are flowing like this, why kill the mood? He gets a little closer and swoops a hand through his thick black bangs. For the briefest moment, you catch a glimpse of one of his eyes. Regarding you fondly, your heart beats a little faster. He puts a hand on your shoulder. You're starting to wonder if all he's interested in is friendship? You hope that's all he wants. You don't think you're ready for anything more than that. <sighs> Water breaks, sorry. You're desperate for friendship, or really companionship of any sort. But that's moving pretty fast for you. But you're too nervous to make your feelings clear on all this. If he goes any further, you're not sure if you'll have the word to protest. Listen, dude. This gorgeous meat product we both admire? I'm thinking maybe we share it. Oh? I think that sounds good, actually. 
Oh my, yes, this sound, that sounds wonderful. You're so hungry. And you're beside yourself with gratitude that Diamond is willing to share with you something so precious to him. It really means a lot. Here, I have an idea. He brings his face close to yours. He holds the hot dog up between your faces, with both ends of the dog pointing to his mouth and yours. You're not sure what he wants you to do? He, you can't find the breath to ask. It seems like he wants you to eat the hot dog with him, Lady and the Tramp style. Oh my. This is uh, moving all so fast. Uh, Diamond, I don't know how I feel about this. Calm down. Uh, it's okay, it's just a hot dog. Just two bros sharing an oblong meat product. Uh, this isn't... It's okay. No, no, no. I can do this. Do this. It's okay. I've played the pocket game before. I'm a big, strong, independent goat. I can do this. I can do this, I swear. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh, okay. Eat the hot dog with him, Lady in the Tramp style. Yes, if you pressed on, you'd agree the act is uncomfortably erotic. But you have to admit it is a good way to share a food item, whilst ensuring he gets split about evenly. And you absolutely loathe the idea of letting a friend down. It's completely at odds with your value as a person. You chomp down on your end of the hot dog, as he does with his end simultaneously. Holy shit, that is so good. You take another bite, and he times his bite perfectly. He's really good at this game. It's throwing off your chewing a bit, which makes you cough a little when you swallow. <laughs> but you don't feel like you can pause without breaking eating rhythm with him. Might be what a bad friend would do. You keep going, without really quite swallowing as you go. You get closer to his face, which is creating an imminent situation you aren't sure you're going to handle. You haven't planned for it, and it's coming up fast. The hot dog backlog cataloging your throat is getting a bit too heavy. So you try to swallow, but you can't. You gag. <laughs> and cough. <coughs> a ball that chewed hot dog matter explosively into his face. Oh no, Diamond! He recoils, absolutely stunned. His bangs are blown back. He's starting at you with wide hot dog- with wide eyes. With wide hot dog eyes. Hot dog and bun bites are all over his face. He says nothing for a moment, then puts his hands to his throat. Oh fuck, he's choking! He points at his mouth desperately. You need to do something. The Heimlich, of course. That's what you need to do. You need to save your friend's life. You get behind him and put your good arm around his belly and form a fist. You plunge the fist into his ribs, trying to dislodge this mis mis masticated delicacy. It's no use. You can't get any leverage. You need your other arm. It really hurts, though. You'll have to make it. You'll have to make the sacrifice for your friend. Yes, a friend who may have just tried to trick you into kissing him with a silly hot dog stunt. Uh, you're not sure how you'll navigate that tricky subject once he's breathing again. But you'll deal with that later. Right now, you have a life to save. You pull your arms, your broken arm out of its sling and grab your other fist in front of his belly and squeeze. You try and try. His face is turning. Well, not blue. Deep red. You guess because his blood is rust colored? Surely that makes sense. You yank one more time, your broken arm throbbing in pain. A huge glob of- <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, that was a sprite. <laughs> a huge glob of chewed hot dog launched out of his mouth like a cannonball, and the explosion creates enough force in the other direction. It causes you to do- to actually lift him up into the air and accidentally suplex him into the mud behind you. You turn- you, in turn, go tumbling over him, and the two of you are soon locked into an inseparable pinwheel of interspecies downhill mayhem. You roll and roll down the grassy incline towards the nearby neighborhood towards the street. <sighs> Luckily, you stop just short of the street, but Diamond's neck lands right on the sharp edge of the curb. And after flipping in the air once or twice, you come down right on his face with your big ass. You hear a crack. Alright, we uh, canonically have a huge ass. Good to know. Damon? You slap his cheek a little. No response. He's not breathing. You check his mouth. Through it is clear of hot dog debris. Oh god. This can't be happening. Uh, you look around panicked. This isn't what you need right now. All you wanted was a friend. You can't be held responsible for alien murder. You have to hide the body. You see a couple kids creeping out of nearby houses to see what all the com commotion is. There's no time. You've got to find a bush or something. There, over there. Looks like a little alien bushy thing. 
pretty small. So it'll have to do. You drag the vested shirtless carcass over to the bush. You dump the body in the bush and it's really not convincing. It looks like a dead kid was unceremoniously dropped on top of a small bush in a poor attempt to conceal the murder. You've got to come up with a better... Wait a minute. Someone is standing behind you. Oh, hi, Ardata. Hello, stranger. Don't worry about this little mess you've made. I'll take care of it for you. You killed him. Our boy, Damon, no! How could we? How could we kill poor Damon? Oh man, this was the bad route. We got the bad route really quick. But I mean, that is what you get in friend sims sometimes. All right, well, I'm sorry, Damon. Diamond, demon. How do you say that name? All right. Uh, so he has two routes. We have to go back to the first. Uh, we'll ask if you can have a bite of his hot dog. It looks amazing. Forget it. I'm leaving forever. Bye. <laughs> and that's the instant death route. Whoop. Disrespectful. Ugh. How dare we ask to bite his hot dog? How dare? How could we? Damon. I just want to bite your dog, man. That's it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I know we just met, but I just wanted to bite your dog, man. Your hot dog, I mean. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Damon. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. All right, that was the instant death route. So let's go with the second triggers. Give him a friendly pat on the back, which we did. Let's give him a reassuring hug. <clears throat> All right, let me drink some more water real quick. <sighs> you open your arms and approach him with a posture of great compassion. You furrow your brow upward a bit, and as if to say, I know, I know how hard it is. You advance, and he leans backward a little, as if caught off guard by your sympathy. Maybe you're coming on too strong? But you know there's no turning back now. You don't just throw the brakes on an imminent heartfelt hug like this. You embrace him awkwardly, and it goes well for a moment. So you realize your arm is broken, and it seizes up reflexively in pain. It jostles the hot dog in his hands, and he bobbles it. You both gasp. You try to detach from the hug so you can catch the dog, but it's already on its way to the ground. Oh no! In your attempt to save it, you stagger backwards and slip. The hot dog gets smushed under your big dumb ass the moment it makes contact with the ground. Damien lets out a shriek. No! Oh, Dude. Dude, my dog! You scramble to get up in time, hoping you're not as owned as it looks. You're not as owned as it looks. Okay. But your feet keep slipping and your butt keeps grinding the hot dog into the mud. When the carnage finally subsides, you roll over and check it out. It's completely unsalvageable. Just a gross meaty, and mat, meaty mud mash that the hot dog never ex even existed. Damon howls in agony and slumps backward against a tree. Oh no, you fucked this up so bad. That's it, man. I've lost everything. I'm not sure what the point of even living anymore. You are absolutely mortified by your clumsiness and foolishness. You have, no f you have a feeling you'll be thinking about this moment for years to come. During those insecure moments when your mind seems to be looking for any excuse to make yourself cringe with self-doubt and shame. Still, you can't help but feel this guy as being a little unreasonable. It's just one hot dog. There are probably plenty more of those to come by for those who know where to look in this strange world. He himself said he makes a habit of enjoying these, so they can't be all that uncommon. Maybe he just has an unusual psychological disorder surrounding a fixation on this particular food item. I mean, with his horns like that? Yeah. Yes, uh, that could be it. Poor guy. This is just means, this just means he needs to support his friend all the more. You won't give up on your friends, or for that matter, people who you're trying desperately to become friends with. That just isn't who you are as a person. You have an idea. You run it by him with a sense of optimism and salesmanship. The past is behind you. There is no need to wallow in self-incrimination and guilt over the hot dog incident. Damon perks up a little. You... You want to help me get another hot dog? 
Absolutely. It could be a fun adventure, you say? Something to bond over. To bring two new buddies closer together. Okay, you don't say that out loud, but you really hope it's true. I don't know. Could be a long shot. Sometimes it can be days before I'm united with another plump treat. Listening with perspiration. Street steaming, relaxing comfortably in a soft melt in your mouth love. Damn. No, I really want a hot dog. I guess I don't have much but to take you up on an offer, do I? What do you have in mind? It's a good question. You haven't made a plan yet, and frankly, you don't even know where to begin. But he's interested in spending more time with you, which is the most important thing. He'll figure something out. Your decided display of confidence is called for here. A real show of leadership to improve morale. You smile, hold your head up high, hold your head up high, and tell him to follow you. You know exactly what to do. Well, not really, but you give the indication of that. Well, um, you, you give no indication of that at all. He's definitely intrigued. You've got him hooked now, you think. He's probably wondered if he hit pay dirt, finding a new friend with the hot dog hookup. Of course, you don't have the slightest idea where to find a hot dog. But you've got to admit, you're enjoying the feeling of being important and valued by a potential friend. You don't want to do anything underhanded, yet you can't help but feel you should probably milk this social gambit for all it's worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh? This way, you say, as you begin marching confidently in a random direction, he obediently follows and begins rubbing his tummy. You begin to feel nervous almost immediately. You have absolutely no idea how this is going to play out. Or if it stands any chance of resulting in a hot dog at the end of the journey. Oh well. You'll figure something out along the way. Keep walking. You lead him through streets and winding through the yards of strange looking houses and he follows. He takes care to make sure you both are not seen. Which could get you both into trouble. Apparently. The improvised cir circuitous? Circuitous? Circuitous. I'm going to go with circuitous. I'm going to look it up. How did I spell it? C R R C U I T O U S. Yes, circuitous. Of a route or journey longer than most direct way. Circuitous. 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 Got it. A circuitous route appears to provoke his suspicion. Dude, are you sure you know where a dog is? It seems like maybe you're lost. Oh, absolutely. You're absolutely sure you know where to find one. You say, you're just uh, throwing anyone off the trail who might have been following you. He nods solemnly, as if that makes perfect sense. Phew. But you can't keep him guessing like this forever. You've got to do something. Take some bold action. Keep his interest in this wiener quest. To keep his interest in this wiener quest. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Where are my sounds? Not that one. Wiener! Anyways. <laughs> I love how that... I have that on demand now. It's so much fun to do. You say it this way. Down here, this is a shortcut to the hot dog supply you're privy to. It's the mother load. Um... In the sewer? Yes, totally. It's just a short trek through the sewer. Shouldn't be more than an hour, or several, of sewer trudging. That is, if he still has the will to do what it takes to get his hands on more juicy dogs. Oh, hell yeah. You know it. After you, man. Oh. An hour, an hour later, you're so deep in the sewer, you've lost all bearings and sense of direction. You could be anywhere by now. You've taken so many crazy turns. Still, you don't let up for a second that you're lost. You made such turn with decisive condition. You've made each turn with such decisive conviction. He's still following you, but now he's having trouble keeping up. He's out of breath and struggling with the foul smell. Can't say you're you're enjoying it much either. You me. But you can't let out the fact that what you're doing now is anything other than the most casual routine for you. Luckily, you do this every day. Just a quick jaunt to the sewer to hit up his this vast, mythical trove of beet products. Okay, when you put it that way, maybe this all sounds a bit insane? 
still. You're in too deep to second guess yourself now. Hey, I gotta... I gotta stop for a rest. I can't lie. I'm starving for a heavenly Frankfurter. Uh, but this might be too much for me. I don't think I'm cut out for this. You pause and look back. He's sitting down now, something against the filthy sewer water wall. You're intensively relieved you see... You may have just won this impromptu game of sewer hot dog chicken. But more importantly than that, this looks like an ideal time to show some sympathy and have a bonding moment with your would-be friend. You sit next to him with your platonic, platonic, with your broken arm. Put a hand on his knee in a platonic but deeply understanding way. Your arm hurts when you do this, but it's worth it. Every little gesture counts when making a new friend. I just... I kind of suck. My Lucis is gone. I don't have any skills. Most people think I'm weird for liking hot dogs so much. I'm probably just gonna go into a cold. I'm not good at doing going on adventures or doing anything hard. All I'm good at is finding an easy meal here and there, however I can get it. I like talking people out of their fine sausages, using tricks or other plays that end up, which end up losing me friends. Who's willing to sacrifice friends for meat? It's been unthinkable that anyone would actually do anything nice for me. It would who or would want me to have that sweet, sweet meat I desire. I at least it was unthinkable until now. Your heart begins to race. Could it be is is this shitty improvised sewer escapade actually working? You can't believe it. Nobody's ever done so much or worked so hard to try to get my hands on another magnificent banger. Damon? I'm sorry for being emotional, but, like, this is new for me? I don't think I know how to handle it. I'm... I'm just so... so grateful. I'd be thrilled to call you a friend, man. Whatever you are. You're overjoyed. Unbelievable. It's almost too good to be true. What now? It's such a sudden turn of good fortune. You hardly know what to do. Should you... should you hug the guy? Last time that didn't go so well. But this time he's not holding a hot dog if he comes to defile. Maybe this is your moment. Wait. What's that? A deep rumbling sound begins to echo through the tunnels. Oh shit! They found us! It's a drone, dude. I guess on, like, sewer duty? We gotta run! He gets up, grabs your hand, and sprints. He's a lot faster than he looks, when motivated, when motivated to get moving. He turns this way and that, and as the, the rumbling gets closer. Ah! But he slips on something, and he will tumble into a river of horrific sludge. Bro! I can't swim, help! Your bad arm finds purchase on a ledge, and though it's very painful, you heroically salvage your friend from the muck with the other arm. He coughs and gasps for breath. You find a nearby ladder, shove him upward until he starts climbing on his own, and follow him. Oh? You burst through a lid on the floor, and you both flap out of the hole, drenched in filth, smelling horrible, and completely exhausted. But at least you're safe, you think. Hey man. I just want you to know, even though we didn't find the glorious treasure we were heading us for, I'm happy how it all turned out. I, maybe I don't eat hot dogs in my life as much as I thought. Maybe that's not the real treasure after all. It's been a journey for me, let me tell you. I'm learning so much about myself after life, about life, because of you. His bushy hair is slicked back from his eyes through the sludge. He's giving you a penetrating, soulful gaze of presumably pure friendship. Or is it even deeper than that? Wow, this is intense. Uh, I don't see your eyes. And something catches your eye just above him. Something dangling? Lots of dangling things, actually. Come to think of it, it's really cold in here. Freezing, in fact. Oh? You finally realize. Holy shit, you're in a weird alien meat locker. You're absolutely surrounded by dangly meat products, including so many sausages, thousands of them. You begin to sob. Your sobbing soon turns to unrestrained wailing of raw catharsis. He joins you, and the tears flow freely from you both. You embrace each other, let it all out. It suddenly hits you, both of you. This is by far the happiest day of your life. Meet heaven! Yeah! We found Damon and I's meat heaven, baby. Look at all those meats. Diamond is so happy. Aww.
Look at that boy, he's so, so happy. All right, I'm gonna click this. Let's look at our achievement uh, for befriending Damon. Meet heaven. You discovered the simple joy of savory bun delights. And our daughter was, you found out that being a cerulean blood is hard and nobody understands. Thank you, Homestuck. Okay. I am going to go take a break real quick. I need to use the bathroom, get some more water because my throat is parched after all that talking. So uh, I'll put on some music for you guys. And put on my be back later screen. I'll be back in just a sec. And then we'll find a game to play for another about hour or so, okay? See you guys in a minute. Bye. Oh, that's not Did it just teleport? Did it just Dio teleport? That's what it sounded like. I heard clock noises. Too adorable. Pass. Espeon, that's a pass. Uh, pass, yeah, pass. Sorry, no pass. Pass, 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 pass. <laughs> what am I saying? Smash. Yeah, I'll get Espeon's a smash. Come on, look at that. Look at those eyes. That's a smash. Have you seen them in the Salibi movie? That's a smash. I'm sorry. Look at this boy. <laughs> Lord, let me drown. <laughs>
Hello, I'm back. Sorry, oh, I had to get some water and whatnot. All righty, let's put that music back on while we think about what to do. Okay, well today I didn't really have a plan past Hive Swap besides working more on the live 2D model. So let's do that. Let me set up the screen real quick. Right? Maybe we can work on a background, a new just chatting background. I have an idea for it. Or a new, I guess, stream overlay background. Or just chatting. I kind of like, I'm weird about my, my stuff. Uh, now I'm kind of in the mood not to, uh, not to just do that. I don't know what to play. It's always the hardest part is trying to figure out what to do. Um, hmm, that's the best question. What do we do? What do we do? We do we do we do? Scooby do we do we do? <laughs> I still can't believe I made this model in like three months. It's crazy. It's not perfect, but it's mine, and I made it. I, I'm proud of myself for that. I, I don't say that much. I don't say that enough to myself. But I'm proud of myself. I think I need to make that more of a regular occurrence. Just being proud. <clears throat> Might help me a little bit, maybe. Help that confidence out, maybe. <laughs> uh, what do I want to play? I don't know. I don't want to get into a new game because then it's gonna mess up our schedule. We're like Friday should be for um, high swap. And Wednesdays should be for inscription, maybe, or that. Friday's kind of a random day for me. I'm never sure what I want to play. Let's see. Yeah, I have all these games, and my brain still goes, I just don't know what to play. We could do a fighting game. Uh, we could do Risk of Rain. Some basic super auto pets. What other games do I have in my Steam library? Hold on. Let me figure this out. Ayo, hey, Shadow of War is like 750. 
Now I'm just on the Steam page. <laughs> God. Hey, Shadow Mortar is five bucks. Not bad. I kind of want just something chill. I can still kind of focus a little bit, I guess. Do I have a game I can download? Hmm. I haven't played a lot of Grand Blue. Sounds kind of fun. I'm kind of shit at it though. You know what? We can play some Vampire Survivors. That's really chill. Vampire Survivors is super chill. Let's play that. Hold on. Yeah. All right. Let's play Vampire Survivor. BP. I'll let me change the what we're playing. I say we play this for a little bit. If I still feel like drawing or something, we'll do it afterwards. We'll see what happens. All right. What do I have for power ups? Uh, hmm. King ten percent more coin per rank's pretty good, but growth is better, I think. Duration's nice. Speed, area. I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna back and I'll just get more. It's fine. I like playing Poe just because he starts with garlic. Personally. I haven't discovered that one yet. Uh I get a bold gold bonus and movement speed bonus. Nice. Let's do level one. I'm sure there's something I'm missing here, right? Oh yeah, I also unlocked this, so it tells me where things are on the map. Oh. Well, I don't want to play that. No, we'll hide those. Uh, what's the open grimoire? Ooh. All right. Cool. Yeah, Poe starts with this, so I kind of like love it. I hate the Pichone. We're going to do the axe. Poe may be slow and an old man with less health, but he starts with the fucking garlic, which is my favorite. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I am working on a new live 2D model for Hazel. Uh, this character that you see on screen. Hi, hello. Um, that is also me. I have a lot of different OCs and characters that I've played over the years. But, I mean, Stream and me have taken a particular love to Hazel as a kind of... I guess you could say chaotic... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Entity. That... Definitely for me gives off like good Big Brother vibes in a way, but like not like the best Big Brother vibes. I don't know how to explain it, it's weird. For me it's kind of Big Brother vibes. Not like Big Brother, Big Brother, but like um Fucking what is it? Shit, I'm distracting myself. Like uh they take care of you. 
they get you into some goofy fucking antics, but they take care of you. That's what big brothers do. What is this? All right, I can't break it. Supposedly there are things on this map I haven't gotten yet. I'm curious about that question mark though. And what is that skull for? Oh, there we go. Yeah, give me that XP. Uh, we'll do magic one level two. You know what? One more projectile is not gonna hurt me. Ah, uh, more garlic. Yes, more. Please be chicken. No, no chicken. I should have grabbed that gold pickup one. I think. Now that I think about it. it you know that was a song about depression i didn't for the longest time yeah interesting lyrics for someone who's apparently really depressed ah oh, fucking skeletons man the damn skeleton Get him. There we go. Okay. Um, I want more garlic, please. Actually, I probably should have taken the lance. That probably would have actually been better. Um, we're almost there. The heart over there. I want. But yeah, I have a, a bunch of OCs. I could probably show you guys the the artwork that I could mention of them. Uh, one of them is a lion. I have a bear. Um. Hazel was the one I stuck with for a, a 2D model though, because I don't know, I just kind of liked how it was and other people liked it too. So it made me happy that other people liked him. We started out from such a small, tiny little thing though. Like I remember my first model, my friend or a friend of mine um, literally sat in a discord call with me for like two hours explaining how everything worked and how to rig it and i loved it every second of it i learned it and i fucking did it and i think i streamed that night or maybe not i don't remember i think i streamed the next day but i showed it to like everyone i could i was just so proud of myself and i was so thankful for them helping me that crown neptune's crown. yeah don't be afraid to ask people for help if others oh, chicken uh hello i'm sorry i saw a chicken where's the, where's the ch it says chicken right there one of these things has chicken there it is yes health back thank you oh no the praying mantis yeah, never be afraid to ask your friends for help or if they know people that can help you with like a topic or something you want to do. Just ask the bro. Oh, fuck. I looked away for two seconds, chat. This is what I get. Two seconds. Shit. That's what I get for trying to read chat. Look at chat, read chat, try to talk to chat. Become one with chat. What's that? Oh, I don't know what that was. That was cool. Apparently, it was a nuke. Works for me. Like, yeah, I know the old man is slow, but I start out with garlic. Hello, it's the best. Well, who knows? Maybe when I get some money, or if I really, really, really want to, I'll animate a different uh, model. Like a different character. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. 
It's like you look at this model and you're like, is, are they a furry? And it's like, yes, I put it in my fucking tags. I think you should know this by now. Like, I wonder why some people come in and I'm like, you see the furry tag, right? But nah. The community is really good if you get to know good people in it and someone, you know. I've met some, some really close friends that I've made through the fandom and it's really great. I've only gone to one convention and I met one of my online friends there and he was super nice the entire time. He kept me company and just made me feel really great about going to my about going to a convention. I drove like two and a half hours to get there. Luckily it was in my state. Oh, there's another chicken down there. Where the fuck is... Oh shit, not oh, shit, not oh, shit. I need more power. Okay, cool. Um, fuck. No, I do the whips. There we go. What's that? Yeah. Oh shit. I just got that thing. We really gonna do this to me, game? Fuck you. Yeah, it's a really nice convention. Um, I'm hoping next year I get to go see some more friends I made like years ago that I have never seen. They live in Ohio. I've never traveled out of state myself. And I am very afraid of heights, but my friend has reassured me that it will be safe. I will be safe and you know just to go on get on the goddamn plane <laughs> fuck thank you for talking about ohio uh which one did i want i i think it was the gold one uh that's coins on experience okay uh revival 10k Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I can refund all these? That'd be nice. Ah, I don't have enough for movement speed. That's annoying. Okay, back. Start. Poe, because I love him. I haven't unlocked everything on the stage. Um, uh, let's go towards that question mark. Let's see what the question mark will get me. It's kind of nice that I can stream three days a week, uh, just Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Don't get me wrong, it's sometimes really hard to, um, life gets in the way, as it were. But I'm still trying to figure out if, like, like, you know how you do something for so long and you don't know if you're doing it just to do it or because you enjoy doing it? Or, you know, you feel obligated to? And I know I've talked to people and they're like, don't feel obligated to stream if you know you don't want to but it's like i also have a lot of fun meeting people and being able to like do dumb shit on stream and just have people laugh at me for it especially if it makes their day better that makes me happy i've said from the beginning i'm like if you know if this is basically me being a, a clown for you and like it makes you happy and I'm glad you're here watching and enjoying your time here. It's, I'll do it for you. I will, I will, I don't care if you laugh at my expense. It's not matter to me. I find it funny too. I don't know. Some people aren't like that. Some people are like, oh no. I'm very much like, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> People say, don't worry about viewer counts, don't worry about that. Just be yourself and people will follow you. It's it's hard. It's really hard, man. A lot of people want to be VTubers. They want to be very popular VTubers like Iron Mouse and Snuffy. Uh, who else? <laughs> people want to be very popular and it's got to take time getting there. Like Iron Mouse is what? She's been streaming for five years now. It's insane. And we're all super happy for her and 
the amount of content she's been able to produce for her for us and make other people happy and you know people she's been able to organizations she's helped donate to it's insane you see how much one person can do with the right community it's insane uh... Why are there so many bats? I mean, I appreciate the XP. But yeah, like we were talking about, like big VTubers. It's gonna take time to get there, guys. I've been VTubing for an entire year. An entire year. I'm at 180 followers now, and I'm very proud of what I have accomplished. But, you know, I gotta keep going if I wanna get anywhere. Look at Iron Mouse, probably within her first two years, you know, there weren't a lot of people that knew her. Or, you know, people I look up to, like Chester the Otter. Um, this is his second year now, and he's very popular because he's funny. He, he does a lot of good stuff. And those people I look up to when it comes to, like, VTubing. And I don't want to give up. I've always given up on a lot of different, you know, things that I thought I'd be good at or wanted to try. And I've been told by other people to give up. This is something I have worked at for a while, and... I don't feel like I should give it up just yet. There's still people I can meet, people I could counsel, people I could just hang out with and get to know. Like, this, like okay, I don't know if he's in chat. If you are, Tack, I'm gonna use you as an example. Uh, Tack, I I made a, dis a Discord, I made a, um, a TikTok. Like they said you should, you know, I followed all those like little how to be a VTuber things and one of them was make a TikTok. I've been putting videos on that TikTok for maybe six months now. And I got a random message from a guy named Tack. Uh, and now he's in my Discord and we ch we're chill. We send, you know, fucking... Fuck, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, we send TikToks to each other and we just try to help each other out. And that's what some people need, I've learned. They just need that person in their life. And yes, they want to collab too. They asked me to collab, they asked me to hang out, and I've been bad about doing that. I'm not the best at like picking myself up and trying to do new things. I usually stay pretty stagnant, if I'm being honest. Like our one year anniversary of VTubing, I still haven't done any work besides the new live 2D model towards doing something. And my, ch my chat has been, my friends in my chat have been very nice to just say, it's fine. Like, you don't need to do anything big. But I want to do something for you guys. I want to, or later on down the line, we do something bigger. One of the two. You know what I mean? I just feel bad. You guys have all been super nice. Everyone I've met and everyone who's disappeared or, you know, gone to do their own thing or going through life i'm just happy to have you here and happy that i can help be a place of rest and security for you hopefully security for you as well i want this to be a safe space for everyone i want everyone to feel loved and appreciated here i hope you guys understand that I'd rather help build you up than break you down. I mean, if you need to be broken down, never gonna run around and desert you. Wait, is that even the right one? No, it's not, but still. I'd rather build you up than break you down. Unless you need help being broken down and, you know, figuring out what it is in your life that needs changing. I can help you with that. I can totally help you with that. I would need to get a very good discussion of what's going on in your life and shit and like you know how we can fix that and i know people that can help you with that too i'm just glad i have those people in my life so i can hopefully provide some of those people to you as well the lovely chat as it were this garlic is not working as well as it used to
I'm thinking for the new model because uh, I did I did say at 150 followers, which was a long while ago, we would try and get a um, hazel, a mazel as it were, a made hazel outfit or emotes. So I want to get an emote one. And for the new model, I'm thinking I'm going to make the uh, uh, sorry, I want to make an outfit a made outfit for hazel for the two i guess 3.0 technically or we fuck this is hazel like 4.0 technically oh fuck the no damn it yeah this is technically a hazel 4.0 i think about it So the newest one would probably be Hazel 4.0 if I'm correct. Can you believe this game got so popular people tried to make like spin-offs of it? I mean good for them, but like still. This is like a $4 game on Steam. But there are some real good hidden gems on Steam. You like straight up you don't think would be amazing games they just are uh long live the princess really a game i don't know if it's it's indie yeah but it's super it's an interesting storyline to say the least i like it i haven't played it in a hot minute but back when i was in college and i wasn't in college i was out of college i was out of high school living on my own that was one of the first games i bought off steam was long with the long with the queen i think it was or long with the princess it was a game that you had to try to help the princess survive because the neighboring kingdoms were trying to kill her in certain ways so you had to like have her study certain things know how certain scenarios went just keep her alive long enough to become the queen of the new of the empire that you're part of it's just interesting i liked it are there any hidden gems you guys like a lot chat any ones you know some really cool ones possibly that i might get to play on stream please suggest them i'd really like to know i haven't played a lot of indies recently mostly just really popular third third party first party nintendo games uh such as i played xenoblade 3 i still need to beat that uh a lot of splatoon 3 that's for sure splatoon 3 is really good please buy a splatoon 3 it's so good um i'm doing another playthrough of breath of the wild because like i said earlier in stream i never finished breath of the wild and i need to finish it so i'm trying my best Ooh, I got a red. Hold on. Uh, wait, I didn't have magic wand already? I already had magic wand. Yeah, like I said, I was trying to um, beat Breath of the Wild again because I never technically beat it. And I know what you're saying. Hazel. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Hazel, why haven't you... Uh, why haven't you played Breath of the Wild on stream? That'd be a really good stream game. Well, turns out the capture card that I have is fucks with my computer. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I've done all the drivers and everything for it. I've tested it time and time again. It still goes blue screen. So I'm going to try and buy a new one. Hopefully when it goes on sale, get an Elgato HD 60 S plus whatever. I don't give a shit buy that and I'll stream a bunch of fucking Nintendo games because there's a ton I want to be on stream and I have a ton on my switch I'm just like it's prime material to play on stream and like hang out with people especially Mario Kart or like um what is it my god Super Smash Brothers I don't really play Super Smash Brothers but you know with people I enjoy I would play it I would enjoy Not the skelly men. Not 
the sexy skeleton men. Is that Sans Undertale with a knife? Fuck. Yeah. Also, we have like Bayonetta 3 coming out later this year. Fuck yeah. Um, I forgot what other Nintendo games. Hopefully they end up releasing um, Advance Wars, the remake. I know they didn't release it because of what was going on at the time, which I, it's whatever to me. I'm not mad. Not mad about that. That's fine with me. I just wish they would give us an actual release date for it. Like, that's all I want. Because I want those fans to be happy and, like, get their fucking game already. Let's see what else. They announced... Oh, yeah, the new Breath of the Wild next year. That's another reason why I want to beat Breath of the Wild so badly. I don't know how to feel about Tears of the Kingdom. Just... I don't know. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people did like Breath of the Wild. I like it too. I think it's good. But I kind of agree with my friend that it, this is a... Breath of the Wild is a adventure game that they kind of slapped the, the uh, Zelda title onto. Not fully. I feel like it was designed kind of for Zelda. But there are definitely some tweaks that could be made to like make it a bit better. Especially weapon... You know, the usual weapon durability. Uh, hiding the fucking, uh, what is this? God damn it, I forgot. Uh, let's do the whip. There we go. They put the, what is it, the teleport system to your, to certain things, to like four or five different random areas in the game behind paid DLC wall of $20. Plus the motorcycles behind the paywall, which is kind of annoying. I love, I, I want that motorcycle. I haven't bought the DLC because I never beat the game. So it's like, I'm not going to buy the DLC unless I actually like your game, Nintendo. But you're hiding a fucking motorcycle behind it, too. So I'm a little pissed off. Just saying. That is barely killing. But the motorcycle looks real cool, though. We gotta admit. It's better than the horse. And horses aren't that bad in this game. The horses are pretty good. Wait, hold on. You. Thank you. Yeah, chicken. Wall chicken, baby. I haven't leveled up in a while, but I can't kill anything is a problem. Or everything that is getting killed is off screen. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the green zombies are kind of assholes. The fuck? I didn't realize that was a, a shinobi head pat emote. I thought it was a regular cat. No, that's a shinobi cat. That's so cute. I need to get one made. I need to make one. I'm a little sleepy. We got work later tomorrow, though, so that's nice. I get to go in later. Super nice for me. Uh, you know what? Do the attract orb. I should have done that. I thought it was the big attract orb. Fuck. I'm just an old man trying to get to my milk. Leave me alone, please. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, more garlic, please. Ow, oh no! That's a big wallet. Hey, yeah. Oh no! Come on, please have some chicken. No, that's not chicken. Yeah, chicken! Yeah! Let's go! This is real gameplay, baby. Chicken Finder 101. Old, old grandpa walks the street. Simulator 1942. Now that we finally got bats on the field, like, oh, that's the big bat. Hold on. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's a bad bat. That's the big, big bat. 
Hold the fuck on. I don't like that bat. Okay, supposedly there's something up here that I can grab. So I'm gonna grab it real quick. Oh, also, if you guys haven't seen um, Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners on Netflix, if you had Netflix, do yourself a favor, watch that fucking show. It's so good. I love it. Mostly because it's animated by Trigger. Trigger is so good with their animation. I love how they do their shit. Oh, there's something over there, it says. Hold on. What's over here? I'm going towards the Oh. You know what? We we take those. Could be good. Ah. It's a one beam box. That's fine. We can get something useful. Yeah. And 68 coins. Cool. I gotta fight through a horde of zombies. To get grandpa his fucking medicine. Come on, grandpa. We got this. Ooh, ooh, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Just because I like the garlic. I am threading the needle here. Fuck. Oh, shit, that's not good. Yep, there goes a lot of my health. These big bats will fuck you up. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh great, this is gonna be another one now. Shit. My build is not viable. This is I'm right on top of it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. Oh, shit, that's not good. Come on, chicken. Come on, chick. Fuck, that was not chicken. And on top of it? I'm putting this for like right next to it. You bitch, I'm like right here. And you're gonna put this up? Fuck you. No! Nah! Damn it. I don't even know what the question mark was. I'm a little upset. A little upsetty spaghetti. Okay, I think we'll do one more round and then we'll call it a night. Oh. Oh. Big stretchies. Woo. Let me take a break for a sec. We don't have the AC on as well, so my brain is like, I'm a, I'm a little overheated. Just a little. But I mean, with our AC bill being so high, I, I can understand. <laughs> our AC bill was like over 300. Fucking ridiculous, man. I don't even know what's causing it. <sighs> Hold on a sec, I'm looking up something. I am starving. Yeah, we'll do one more. I am like absolutely starving. I didn't really eat. I had breakfast, which is just coffee and like something sugary. And right before stream, I had like down some water and had a granola bar. So uh, my body says I'm hungry. Recovery, maybe? No. Cooldowns, yeah, that'll be ridiculous. Uh, maybe armor? The amount? No. Luck, too high. Okay, I will go with duration. Sure, I'll go with duration, why not? One more Poe run. Stage one, baby. Okay, so there's still that. Let's go up there. 
That's the plan, baby. Yeah, you don't realize how hungry you are until you're <laughs> you're two and a half hours deep into stream, and it's like, oh yeah, I need to eat. <laughs> oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you can't buy Vampire Survivors, good game. It's like five bucks on Steam. <laughs> Fuck those two bats in particular. And those two. <laughs> Grandpa Walking Simulator 2022. Will he get the milk or not? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. God. I need to up this uh, garlic when I can. Never mind. Axe it is. Don't want to give me more garlic. I see how it is. If you put garlic in anything, food tastes real good. Just saying. If you know how to do it right, mm, that shit tastes good. Smother fucking smother listen, smother some garlic on some bread. Garlic bread. Put it in a fucking spaghetti, even better. It's like there's so many uses for fucking garlic bread, my guy. Garlic bread for garlic. You can put garlic in pretty much anything, it'll taste delicious. No, okay, I'm getting distracted. Hold on. Uh, garlic, please. Oh, no, wait. Shit. Actually. That's probably a better synergy item now that I think about it. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, give me more of that. More of that, please. Thank you. Pentagram. Mm. Do the cross. Not the best item, but it can work. It hits our needs. Fire damage up. And, uh, no, I didn't mean to grab that. Whoops, my bad. That's fine. Whatever. More health. More health don't hurt nobody. Skeletons already? Shit. I'm not ready for these guys. Uh, Holy Bible's nice. Crown's nice. Uh, King Bible. Or they can't call it Holy Bible or something because I don't know why. They just call it King Bible. You mean the Bible? Was that from Chowder? I don't remember. You dare disrespect the mighty Bibble? No, that's from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's what that's from. That's what that shit's from. I was trying to remember. Uh, more garlic, I guess. I've not been seeing that many fireballs. Hunger's getting to me, guys. Shit. <laughs> I don't want to end this, but like, I can feel it. My tummy's rumbling. No, 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 no. Don't kill me just yet. 
I'm so close. There's a chicken right there. I'm so close to whatever this mystery thing is. I just want to know what it is. What's in the box? Come on. What's in the fucking box? Ah, oh, shit. Y'all gonna try and stop me right now when I'm at my closest. Oh, the green hat. Oh, hold on. Treasure. Yeah! That's the good treasure. Yeah. There we go. That's what we like to see. Big treasure, baby. Yeah, we cannot kill the green ones very easily. I might have just killed myself. Uh, hold on, hold on. All right, we're good. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a plan. <gasps> What's that? Yes! Even better. Fuck yeah. Uh, more projectiles, go. Oh, wait, there's another one. Fuck. Ah, uh, one beam, but it still works. Ooh, fire one. Very nice. Ba boom. All right, we need to get over there now. Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, it's already down. Fuck. I thought for sure. Wall chicken. Let's go. Come on. I want to see what this mystery item is. I need to know what's in a Krabby Patty. So close. The secret ingredient is one cup of plankton. <laughs> and then all his uh, cousins fucking leave. And there's the one left. And it's like, why aren't you leaving? It's like, I can't read. Get out of here. SpongeBob, <laughs> SpongeBob knew it was up. It's fucking funny. Can you believe? We spent all our lives looking at Squidward when we were kids. And like, Squidward's just a fucking downer. Fuck, fuck Squidward, man. And now we look at him and we're like, fuck, Squidward's right. Squidward just fucking sucks. <laughs> this is this it? This is the Holy Land? Where are you, Mystery Mouse Catool? Oh fuck! No! I was right there, man. It's right there. Come on! You can't just do that to me. <sighs> man. Well, can I unlock a new character at least? Nope. Don't have enough. 800 is not bad though. Okay. Well, I think that's it for tonight, guys. I'm going to. I'm going to find us someone to raid real quick. And then I'm going to go eat some food. Because so I've been a bad goat and I've not eaten food. Let's find someone. I hope you guys all enjoyed your time here. I know we didn't do crazy amounts of shit today, but I mean, I enjoyed myself, so I hope you did. Um, we'll be back on Monday next week, 5 p.m. PST, as always. We do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, same time every time, 5 p.m. PST. I hope to see you guys there, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend as well. Um, if you have some ideas of what you want to see, let me know. You can also join our Discord here. Bam, boom. If you want to hang out with us outside of streams and, you know, just pal around or whatnot. But, uh, yeah. 
I think I'd say this is a pretty successful stream. We had a pretty good time. We made some progress on some things, which is good. I definitely need more water because my throat is parched. But we're going to send you all over to a friend of mine. I think I'm going to send you guys over to... Let's see, who do we send you over to? We send you over to Jen, because Jen is a sweetheart. We like Jen. Jen is an absolute sweetheart. Okay, so raid, and they're playing a game I want to play eventually, which is Skull the Hero Slayer. I really do want to play that on stream or just get it myself. I think that'd be really fun. But again, Thank you everybody for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will see you again on Monday, 5 p.m. PSD. Take care of yourselves, please. Eat something good for yourselves or something bad. I'm not your dad. Take care of yourselves as best you can, mental and physically wise. Remember, people love you. Help support each other as best you can because I can only do so much by myself. So I hope you can help spread that to everyone else, okay? Like I say, strive to be the best you you can be. You guys are awesome. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, be me and uh, have fun with my creations. And for some reason, he Jin has five ads. At, when I went into his stream, they're all like 15 seconds. So yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of waiting out the ads now. <laughs> Anyways. I'll see you guys all later. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Friday, I try to play a roguelike.